Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and I'm laughing because this is take two. <laughs> Fortunately, it's a short video, so it doesn't actually take me long and it won't take you long to watch. So uh, this is the video of the week where we look at my plans for game week nine. But before we do that, we normally look at what happened in game week eight. But before that, I have an apology because I got the wrong highest score for game week seven in the Midnight Mule Mini League. Now, I may get this name completely wrong, but I'm going with Ali Stowe with Papsi Rudzeski. And they got 84 points in game week seven playing their wild card. And they very bravely captained Trippier and got 24 points. And then it was a double game week for Morris. He got 10 points. Bowen scored nine points. Sanchez and Son got seven. Gabriel Cash got six. Ward Prowse got four. Bowen got nine. And the useless Haaland got two. Who's got Haaland nowadays anyway? And then on the bench, nothing. So that was very well played. So sorry for missing you, Ali Stoll. As for game week eight, Jacob Eriksson with scores Clanton IF with 77 points. And if you watched this series last year, you'll know that I said his name just about every week because he was top of the league, I think, right up until game week 38. So how did they do that? They had Salah for 15, Isaac for 13, Captain Madison got 12, Romero got 8, Turner, Trippio, Udogi got 6, and Watkins got 5, and nothing on the bench. Top of the league at the moment is JG with a green tick. There we go. They scored 54 points with 551 in total. And they managed that with Captain Salah as 30, Saliba for 7, and that's all. But they're still top. So, so it's a good job they captain Salah and didn't captain Haaland. And then on the bench, six points for Turner, but playing Leno instead of Turner, that's absolutely fine and understandable. As for me, I'm down in 177th. I scored 56 points. I had Salah as my vice captain for 15. Obviously, I should have captained him, but yeah, what are you going to do? And then I had Captain Sun with six, together with Madison six, Trippier six, Pedro Porro six. They saved me. And then Darren and Watkins got five. On my bench, the only one scoring was White, but he was in the third position. He was playing Man City. I wasn't really expecting anything from him, so I got that wrong. But 56 points overall, one and a half million for the game week rank. But I'm still just outside two and a half million, but I did get a little green arrow. I'm six points away from three million and eight away from two million. But at least I'm gradually moving in the right direction. And I'm 162 from top spot. And with 30 weeks left, if I can get a clean sheet more than the person at top, that's six, six points more, then I should win the whole of FPL of 30 weeks ago. So it could happen. You never know. Yeah, I think you do know. So 887 people subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much to everyone who watches this and then subscribes and likes and leaves comments. It is appreciated. On the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League and see who's winning. At the moment, it's FPL Fran. He does an excellent cheat sheet. It's hard to say. <laughs> he does an excellent cheat sheet every week, which I like to listen to. He's got 513 points. There are nine managers, nine teams in the Midnight Mule Mini League that are higher than that. So obviously, they should all be content creators. Also on this page is FPL Mate. Very different character to Fran. He's full of energy and I do like listening to his stuff. It's it's entertaining. That's how I see it. As for me, I'm down in 54th place, one point behind Oscar, FPL Focal, and two in front of Az, both of whom are great characters as far as I'm concerned. Now, my transfer options, I was absolutely intending to just roll this week. So there I am. That's not me. There's a rolling kitten doing nothing, just snoozing. Hey, why should I do anything? So wildcarded game week eight, roll game week nine, then two or three transfers in game week 10 to optimize the team. However, because Robertson's injured, I don't have him, but I am tempted to sell Colwell, who's four and a half million at the moment, and bring in Simicast for 4.4 million. Apart from next week, Colwell hasn't really got any decent fixtures for several game weeks, and Simicast is likely to play for several weeks for Liverpool, and he's likely to go up in price. The only downside of doing this is if I want to make more than one transfer next week, this has effectively cost me four points. So I've not decided yet and I won't do it tonight if Simicast isn't going to go up tonight. So 
I don't know, but I normally post on Twitter or other X, as it is nowadays, what my squad's going to be. So follow me on there if you want to see what I end up doing. So as things stand, my starting 11 should be for this weekend. Salah as captain. There we go. And his mate Darwin up front. And then my vice captain to be Sun with his two chums, Pedro Porro and Madison. And I've got Cash, Diaby and Watkins playing at home to West Ham. I've got Neto at home to Wolves. And amusingly, Wolves also have a player called Neto. So although I may not get a clean sheet because Wolves can be quite attacking, I'm hoping for confusion on the day. And then when someone shouts, pass to Neto, they're pass to the wrong Neto. And it'll be a clean sheet. You can hope, you never know. And then Trippier is at home to Palace. And then my only player who's away is Hoyland for Man United away to Sheffield United, who've got the worst defence in the Premier League. So there's a chance he's finally going to score this week. So I'm expecting to get more than 60 points, I think, this week. But I think a lot of managers and teams are going to be getting 70, 80 points. We're going to see quite a few with over 100, just because the fixtures are quite favourable for some of the big teams this game week. And on the bench, I've got Ariola, White, Cole and Mitama. And in case you're wondering about the picture, uh, my two daughters like watching Doctor Who. And I've got some friends and other relatives like watching Doctor Who. And from, I think it's the 1st of November, there's 800 episodes. So all the episodes, apart from the first four, for copyright reasons, are going to be available on BBC iPlayer. Obviously, I get no kickback for saying that. It's just <laughs> I'm running out of ideas for what to do for the background picture. So this is the TARDIS, in case you don't know Doctor Who. That's the TARDIS. It's a time machine about to kick some sort of alien football. Thank you very much for watching me ramble on. I hope you have a good game week nine. And let's hope we all get very good scores, especially me. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>